Guys and girls, what's going on? Viridia here, and uh, today I've got a really special guest, really good uh, friend of mine. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. This is uh, Seth Murderous. What's up, Seth? What's going on, Brad? Hey. Uh, guys, I uh, I wanted to show you something. Seth did something really, really badass. I, I thought you guys might appreciate it. Uh, you guys liked my Forest Temple. It was kind of a Zelda-esque like thing. It wasn't wasn't an exact replica, but it was you know it was, it was neat to to put some Zelda music to and to think that maybe someday we could do something like that. Um, Seth actually took some time and you know he wanted to create something badass. He's a big Zelda fan as well. So why don't you go ahead and walk us through what you did here? <laughs> okay. Well, first off, we're gonna give you an aerial view because I think that gives it the most justice. Uh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> This is a recreation, as best I can, you know, there are a few things that are, are a little off because of, well, for one, I'm building with blocks. And, right, right. And uh, two, it's, some things were kind of impossible for uh, unknown glitchy reasons, but nothing too major. Uh, but anyway, it is the uh, best I could do scale replica of uh, Kakariko Village from uh, Link to the Past. And I think it looks phenomenal. It looks it, it looks pretty badass. As you guys can see, I've just put in the corner the actual map, so you can you can actually uh, follow along, you know, with your finger, with your eyes, or whatever. Uh, he's going to give us a, a down a down into the the city tour or into the town tour of it, um, and uh, you can follow along with the map in the corner. So uh, you can see that it, it looks pretty damn good. Now, so the glitches you're talking about, there were. There were fence glitches where you couldn't lay down fence in certain areas, so you had to do that. And then there's a paradoxical glitch that you'll talk about mm -hmm. um, as well. So uh, here we are. We're at the, the entrance, right? Yeah, this is the uh, bottom right screen of the map when you first... This is the most common area where you come into the village because it's right... Like, the bottom right corner of the screen is where it's connected to almost every other part of the, uh, exactly. the, the world map. Exactly. But uh, anyway... Uh, Turn the fog on a little bit heavier here because you really won't seem to see that far. This is also the the Legend of Zelda, uh, one of the Legend of Zelda map packs. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can download it if you'd like. So it really does, it really does help with the the feel of the of the map because it's got the the stuff, all the all the weapons and uh, equipment and everything look like like actual things you'd find in Zelda. So yeah, and another thing is that uh, like I said, you know, there's I got as best I, or as close to a, I, as I could to. Uh, some of the items in the game, like uh, for instance, you can't put pots down, um, and there's also these huge barrel things that I cre recreated here. Um, <laughs> the best I could do was use obsidian and, and like kind of think of these wooden things as like a, a cork top. Um, oh, I see. What I you, see. You, yeah, you can see in the map in the top right uh, on the original that it, it's kind of what it's supposed to be. But like I said, there's no clay pots or anything like that in the game. Yeah. So well, you know, it's some of these some of these guys out there with Minecraft are freaking geniuses at figuring out certain crap like that. So if you guys have any, if you see anything you, you think could make this better, don't hesitate to put it in the comments and, you know, give us uh, give us a tip. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but, uh, but yeah, this is this is absolutely, I, I just absolutely love it. The doors, they, you know, they, they resemble the Zelda doors, the, the uh, Link to the Past and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, because you know, you wouldn't never, you would never get to go into a 3D place like this. Now, what what are you thinking about doing when you expand? You, you said you were gonna, you were gonna expand the world. Um, do you think doing the whole world is out of the realm, or do you think that you might be able to do it at some point? Um, I think it'll be a lot easier to do. Uh, if you're talking about just do, re, uh, recreating uh, a link to the past, it's a little bit easier to do on this because, uh, for instance, the map pack or the uh, the t a skin pack is a uh, very closely uh, similar to you know looking at the game because it's got like you know the doors right. and, the, and the walls are even the same kind of texture but uh, uh, it's more of a challenge I think on some areas than others like I said like you know for instance I use clay because <laughs> I couldn't use a clay pot I was yeah. like well you know what a clay block is the only thing I could think of but I think it'd be pretty easy as far as um, uh, doing the whole map itself. Maybe not some dungeons. Maybe, maybe, you know. Well, yeah, and I'm talking strictly about the map screen, you know, that you get when the, when the uh, you know, you pop up the map on the game, you know, because, I mean, the, the game actually will take you to different zones, which aren't, I mean, it, it's honestly not, um, I don't know, it's not very, it's not very correct, you know what I mean? Like, you see the mountain, yeah. it's really small, but then when you go in there, it's huge inside and stuff, yeah. So, I, I mean, it's completely understandable. Um, but you know, it's not out of the realm. I mean, it, it would definitely be something to uh, to take a look at, and, and you know, it'd be it'd be pretty cool to see. I know that I know that a lot of people would like to see that. Um, 
So that, that, that's pretty neat. You know, I've often thought about doing the, the forest temple, like, straight up. You know, I brought that up to you earlier. <clears throat> Show them the, the part where you can jump down into the... Yeah, right there. The well. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I even wanted to go a little further, and I might. I mean, because like I said, this is just the first part of, uh, of maybe a bigger project. Uh, I'm actually fill this out and do, like, a recreation. Well, like, like you were saying, though, it's paradoxical because... If it's, I don't even know that's <laughs> word, but it's it's it's, a, it's sort of a paradox because when you once you enter, you know this part right here, this door, it's just a black, you know, right time portal, you know, or, or, or like a you know it, it changes everything when you walk in here. So it's kind of hard to recreate some areas without throwing off the outer edges of it. But uh, this is a, a really cool thing I like to show right here. Um, now, when you're talking about with the the uh, the landscape paradox, it's it's this right. It's a uh, Climb back on here. Okay, so in the map you can see this part, this little cliff right here, just fades into that backdrop right there, that whole backdrop. Yeah, if you actually look at the map in the top corner of the screen, you can see this. Yeah, and when you can do this in real life in 3D, it changes everything because you have to have a scale. You can't just do flat, 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 and expect all this to be flat with it. You know, it's like, it's 2D. Right. And, and when you go 3D, it's completely different. But like I said, I could I could do a few things that were close to it. It actually goes all the way down. Like, <laughs> you might but, uh, die. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to chance that. So the, for, for those of you guys, though, that are, you know, Zelda fans and Link to the Past fans, you know what this is, and so it's pretty neat to see, and... It's pretty neat to, to, to gander. I mean, I, I, I thought it was absolutely awesome. I was like, dude, we have to feature this on the channel, on my channel, because I wanted my fans, I wanted you guys to see it, you know. I, I wanted you guys to, to be able to see this like I did. Because I, I thought it was, I just I just loved it. It was badass. But, uh, but yeah, man, uh, give us one more aerial view right quick, and I, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and wrap this up, because I know that... Uh, <clears throat> there's the... Uh, there's the North, northeast, south. And right. North. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There's. It's hard to. You were talking about how it's hard to put the the nautical letters down. So, mm -hmm. uh, see, this was what I was talking about. This part right here was what I was talking about when you were, when we were talking about the uh, the paradox. Right. Go up to where it looks like it's actually like the map had it. Okay. Because I know that I know that you can turn some yeah, fog, off. fog off. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So now, so so you see on the map, it, it's got the cliff, but then it's flat. It's just like. You can't do that in a three-dimensional yeah. space. Yeah, so. even the, even the the staircase itself is is considered flat. Right, exactly. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, like you you literally have to make like a, a chalk drawing of and make it look 3D in order to make it work. But, uh, but yeah, that's uh that's Kakariko Village, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and and you know thanks Seth for throwing us on there, guys. Go subscribe to Seth if you haven't because. He's a Zelda fan, and I think we're all Zelda fans, and so he does walkthroughs of them. Yeah, and there'll be more uh, of this Minecraft More Minecraft stuff, stuff so, too. You know, so if you guys like too. Minecraft, he's doing some Minecraft shit. So, uh, so yeah, thanks again, Seth. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thumbs up the video for Kakariko! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, again, be sure to subscribe to Seth if you haven't. He's my best buddy. I'm Viridia. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm Viridia. I'm Seth Murders. And I'm Audi. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs>